God's eternal word that rises up in all of creation stands in righteousness. And these words were spoken by a wise king of Hawaii almost 200 years ago. He was recognizing where his authority comes from to hold his kingdom together. Indeed, it is the word of God that created the heavens and the earth. And it is God's word that holds all things together. The oceans roar, the earth trembles, the mountains sing, and the heavens shout, proclaiming the glory of God. And also for His glory and in His image, God created Cecil and Gina. And here you are in His most beautiful creation of Hawaii to uh, enter into a reaffirmation of your vows of marriage. Marriage is that honorable estate instituted by God in the time of man's innocence and marriage symbolizes that mystical union that is between Christ and His church. It's to be considered soberly and reverently and it's into this reaffirmation that you both now come into. And so I'd like you just to enjoy what God is doing for you both in your union. Let's begin with a prayer. Father, this is your time. Holy Spirit, guide this event that all of us present come under your covering and that your great joy fills our hearts for this couple as they renew their vows of marriage. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Cecil and Gina, I charge you in the presence of God and before each other 
to say what you mean and to mean what you say. A covenant, as you know, is a legally binding agreement. It is for a set duration. And so continuing on from today and for the rest of your lives, you are in that process of binding yourselves to one another and to the work of the Holy Spirit as He continues to knit you together as one. This is God's equation that's at work here, where one and one make one. After this ceremony, it will be morally binding upon you to love and care for each other, to be faithful to each other, and to continue to build your life together, both in prosperity and adversity, and regardless of circumstances or feelings or changes. So you'll be expressing to me your readiness to make this uh, recommitment to this covenant, and then by your words, you'll be uh, doing that uh, before God and with each other. And so at this time, Gina, if I may take your book here. Do you, Cecil, have this woman, Gina, to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Do you pledge to give of your life for her, comfort her, love, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keeping yourself only unto her, as long as you both shall live? I do. And do you, Gina, have this man Cecil to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Do you pledge to put your trust in him, cherish him, love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keeping yourself only unto him, as long as you both shall live? Here's your ring for your wife. You may take her hand in yours. And if you would, Cecil, say your pledge to your wife and repeat after me. As a pledge, as a pledge, and in token, and in token, of the vows we have made, of the vows we have made, with this ring, with this ring, I renew my vows of marriage, I renew my vows of marriage, and place the ring. For your husband, I offer her your left hand. And Gina, if you would say your pledge uh, to your group, to your husband, as a pledge, as a pledge, and in token, and in token, of the vows we have made, of the vows we have made, with this ring, with this ring, I renew my vows of marriage. I renew my vows of marriage. And they place the ring. We continue to hold hands with each other. Just be with each other. I'll say a prayer to seal the ceremony. Father, you are faithful, and your love endures forever. We rely on your power to keep Cecil and Gina close by your side and to each other. And by your greatness, we recognize the effect that this couple is having upon the world for goodness and for righteousness. And may their union be a testimony to your truth and to your word. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. For as much as Cecil and Gina have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and each other and have given and pledged themselves to one another and have declared the same by joining hands and giving and receiving rings by the authority vested in me as minister of God's church and by the state of Hawaii. I pronounce that this couple is indeed husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Cecil, you may kiss your wife. <laughs> Well